Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. Poor city coming right black at y'all. I hope you guys are doing all right. I'm just hanging in here right now. Um, last night, um, I had an opportunity to go in to sign out a show. Um, and Jabari and Rob Bourne and all of them was on there and stuff. Um, Jabari was giving out like African history quizzes and shit. So I decided to see if I knew some of that stuff, man. It was pretty interesting. I like to share that with y'all. Um, if you don't mind, y'all come on in. I hope all you guys are doing all right. Thank you guys for um, subscribing to the channel. I appreciate the likes and I appreciate, um, you know, the dialogue that we have and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do is just go over um, last night, man. I thought it was pretty interesting. I might try to do a poor city, you know, poor city version of, of what we did last night, which I thought was awesome. I think it's important um, for African uh, Africans or uh, descendants of African, African descendants in a diaspora to um, have a good grasp on history and, um, you know, cer certain things that we should know. That they don't teach but anyway for for whatever the matter i'm gonna try to share my screen we're gonna go um and see uh see how i did on my little on the little quiz we had give me a minute family give me a minute i'm trying to pull up my screen and stuff I'm trying to find it first i ain't gonna boy yard and play the whole <laughs> I'm just gonna play um, some of them because they had some interesting questions in there. Definitely, definitely. But yeah, thank you guys for coming in. Definitely appreciate y'all for stopping on by. Where we at? Trying to find it, y'all. Trying to find it. Yeah, give me a minute. I'm going to share my screen. All right, my bad on that, y'all. I had to find what I was looking for. I still don't know if I got it. All right, so I should be sharing my screen, and um, let's go over some of these questions. Wow. Um, Colton, Colson Whitehead. Okay. okay. Colton Whitehead. Phyllis <laughs> Wheatley. Phyllis Wheatley is the answer. I thought so. And she came from Sierra Leone or Senegal, though? Yes. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. know that. She, she, I mean, just think she's published three years before the United States exists. Wow. wow. And she writes and she talks about black folks in history. So she's what? not just a, a poet. She's also a poet that is thinking about the lot of people of African descent in history and saying, we have done in, to, to really know this answer, the book that you should be reading is uh here it is this is a, a critically important book that almost no one reads anymore by a really powerful black historian that is worth more than his weight his name was benjamin quarles it's called the negro and the american revolution excellent and you should read it anyway let's continue let's continue i want to see if someone's going to give me that answer later let's go Oh, and by the way, I, I didn't even realize I went this far in this. This is one of the reasons why the third stanza of the national anthem that folks often forget. By the way, I don't, Colin, Colin, Colin Kaepernick, Kaepernick was not even aware of it when he was kneeling. But I'm going to tell you, if he was aware and if others were aware of it, um, the, all of those folks would have been absolutely ashamed. Listen to what it says. It says, no refuge could slave, the hireling and slave, from the terror or flight or the gloom of the grave. And the star-spangled banner in triumph doth wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. He is referring to the massacring, the killing 
of enslaved Africans. That is right in the national anthem of the United States. And guess what? That's why you ain't going to see me standing for nothing. Nothing. That's right, Brother Javar. Continue. Oh, that's the end of this one. Look at that. I got to go to the next one to give you more. Let me take this off for a moment. Now, I'm going to keep it real. Wait, where's my next one? Them, some of them questions Jabari was asking was kind of hard. Had me had me shook a little bit with these questions. Not, you know, had me rattled because I was like, damn, some of these things I never heard of. But I think it's important for all of us to um, just learn as much as we can. You never can know everything, man. So um, I appreciate being on this little little um, panel last night they had on Sonetta. Shout out to Sonetta, Jabari, and Rob Bourne, I think, showed up. Um, but yeah, let me let me keep it moving. Come on now. So um let me say, oh wow, where's the other one? I gotta go back to another to the next quiz. Give me a second. While I get it all uh queued up for you. I wonder if I showed this one already on Sonnet. I don't think so. I don't think so. We're going to show you a few of these questions. Um, I want to try to give you some of the more difficult ones. Let's see. Because this is the last one, right? I'm going to choose questions here now. I'm not going to just uh, give you them in order. Let's give you some of the more difficult questions and see where you can go with it. Sonetta, can you put the... Oh, wait, I'm not sharing yet. Sorry. Now, I killed some of these questions on the show. I, I was impressed. Here we go. Here's one of the questions I think is fascinating that most people don't get. So can you your screen, up? Jabari. Say again? We still can't see your screen. Yeah, Sonetta has to share it. Sonetta, can you share this? Sonetta might have stepped away. Sonetta. Without. Sonetta. There we go. Can you share this? I tried to take it down. Share this screen. There we go. Okay. What was the name of the first European settlement in what would become the United States? New Amsterdam. C. We got someone saying C. All right. I was loud and wrong. It's not <laughs> New Amsterdam. I, I said that I, I said that answer out real loud is because I've been studying um the Dutch in in um, in in New Netherlands, New New Amsterdam, and stuff like that. So that's all I was thinking about: Amsterdam, New Netherlands, New York, um, and all of that. So it's definitely not. I I, I said the wrong shit, y'all. <laughs> but I'm man enough to admit it on here, and we all gonna learn something today. But check it out. I'm gonna uh, say San Miguel de Guadalupe. Yeah, I'm gonna say B. I'm gonna say B. B. Okay, and uh, uh, I'm I'm gonna go with Old Jamestown. Okay, we have things that we have. Hey, the here. first European settlement in the United States. Hey, yeah. what would become the United States? I'm gonna say New Amsterdam, New York. Okay, I was I'm going with B. I was, I was confident as shit too. <laughs> he said Miguel de Guadalupe. Guadalupe. I'm going with B as well. I'm going yes, with A. I hear some people say now, 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 Philadelphia, we know, was the first White House, but that wasn't the first. That's well, where the White House was. One of the first capitals, you mean. First right, capital. was the first capital. Right. The first capital. But I'm going to go with Jamestown. Okay, let's move. Here's the answer. Sam oh, okay. Valdalpe. That wasn't in America. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It had to be in Florida or, or Georgia. Apostle, you got to remember, some things happened before America became America. That's what I'm saying. But that name, that name would tell me it was the Spanish, not the English. So that would be Georgia, Florida. It don't. It, the question wasn't what wasn't what English settlement. It said what European right, settlement. Right. What European settlement? Yeah, that was right. Right. in Europe. Right. 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 Where exactly is this location at? It is in South Carolina. Right. right. It would have to be in the South. Right. Georgetown County. 
By the way, one of the reasons why we don't remember it is because you know, most folks don't want to remember it. Why? Because they brought in. Some- and look at what I'm doing, yo. I'm writing this shit down. <laughs> you know, um, it's funny because this name didn't ring a bell, but um, on my panel um, the other day, we had MoFax talking about rebellions or, or revolts in South Carolina. We didn't know the name and it didn't ring to me, right? So um, I heard about the revolts, you know, the Stone Over Rebellion and all that good stuff, which happened later. But this happened in like 1520, from what Jabari said, because I did ask him in here. But you had a rebellion um, going down in South Carolina in uh, the 1500s by Africans. All right, fam. So I'm going to um, look into this a little bit more and I'll do a whole presentation on that later. But um this is just one of them opportunities where um, you never know everything, fam. I've never said I did, and I never will say that. But we all, um, you know, share information with each other, and that's what we do. So um, that's. But I know for a fact that um, in the panel that me and Mo was talking about, and he had mentioned South Carolina, and I'm, I can almost guess that that might have been one of the areas. Now that I know the name of it, but um, we'll look more into um, San Miguel de la Gualape, whatever you call it. I can't pronounce that, but I thought New Amsterdam because I'm on some old I'm studying that area. I was studying the beaver fur and the Dutch and um, Peter Stuyvesant and all of these, uh, the, the Lenape and the Arawak and all of that stuff. And I kind of had Amsterdam <laughs> in the Netherlands on my mind. But yeah, the good stuff. Slaved Africans there. And as soon as the quote unquote explorer Alyon left to get supplies, those Africans rebelled and burned the entire damn oh, thing around. That's this place I heard about. Okay. It, it shit came to me and now. So I've heard about this story. I just didn't know the name or the time period. It's Bro. believed that they escaped and lived with the native people in the area. What year was this, Jabari? What year is it, folks? Come on, somebody give me an answer. It have to be in the 1500s. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, and it was probably, it was either... Uh, 1526. Right. It was either the um, the Creeks or the the, the Florida uh, tribes. Uh, I, don't, I don't actually know which um, group of people they went to live with. It, it wasn't have, the Cherokee. We don't have so, any- we don't have any record of exactly right. where we went, where they went to. I, I, we I know that the enslaved Africans destroyed. It. So here's the right. deal: if we understood and had the context for exactly what we did to receive, to deserve, to fight for that which the Creator gave us, our freedom, we would actually look at our personal agency in the modern world differently. We would recognize that we were in the most difficult situations, struggled and prevailed, rather than us thinking that this is a situation where um, good white folk gave us our freedom after they realized they were wrong. That's not what happened. So um, I just, uh, this is one of those questions that I really think we should be familiar with. Now, fam, you know, this is a, you know, this is, like wow you know what i'm saying um that part of history that we don't hear about have y'all ever heard about the first european settlement in the united states in south carolina um and these africans rebelled everyone's saying we're not african this we're not african that but um you have uh, evidence of our presence here African presence, not no indigenous this, indigenous th- that, and all of this other shit that you hear and stuff. And you hear a lot of people saying, well, they were weak and this and that and the other. Man, there were so many damn rebellions and revolts and shit that happened that it is it is foolish to say that um, the African was weak. Because you see um, episode after ep- episode of events that you hear like this, 1520, shit. I mean, damn, that was a long ass time ago, you know, and um, I just wanted to slow it down, man, so we can kind of understand that, um, you know, the history of Africans go way back 
um, in this country. And and don't get it twisted like we was all some old happy-go-lucky um, folks that willingly came over here. Shit like that. That's all. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to go out on a deeper limb. And I guarantee they were African. They were, they were blacks from uh, uh, Portugal. Who the um the folks those slaves in the 1500s? Yeah, right. right. I'm I'm guaranteed they were from Portugal. You know, I don't really know. And look up, look up. Um, we know that the Portuguese were the Edgar Shaw, Edgar Shaw, the the expulsion of the Black Hebrew. Apostle had to say something about some damn Hebrews. <laughs> Yo. Apostle damn near hijacked this show, y'all. He, 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 he funny, man. Me and him from D.C. It's funny, man. But he hijacked the whole show. He wanted to show slides. Jabari was the one teaching and going over this stuff. Um, shout out to Jabari for, um, you know, having a little African... Uh, um, quiz like that. I think that's that's pretty good for all of us to do. But fuck, freaking <laughs> Apostle was hijacking the show. Shout out to Chad. Chad has some answers too. From Portugal. Look him up. Well, there's a lot for us to study about the things that occurred prior to. Well, anyway, I'm not going to go with that. Yeah. Another question. Here's another question. And those of you who have taken my class will. Um, benefit from this because it is something that I mentioned. In fact, even my um, my Hunter College students have have uh, this is on their midterm, so if they if they didn't get it, <laughs> they got they had real stakes for this one. Sonetta, can you put this one up? Here we go. What was the name of the Piltdown Piltdown Man? Damn, y'all heard me answer that shit quick. Bam, yeah, Piltdown Man. And then watch Apostle try to answer the shit real quick after me. But I got that first. I just want to let y'all know. Y'all heard me say that shit. Pill down, man. All right. Now, before Apostle started talking, um, the pill down man was a fake. False artifact that these Europeans try to make, um, put together with some. Um, it, it wasn't a full um, human skeleton remain. They try to mix other bones and shit with it to try to make a missing link appear in 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 uh england some damn where and it, it it was found out that it was a fake but i got that right y'all i got that right the pimp down man he, apostle lay. He, he said that shit right after i did <laughs> half monkey half chimpanzee right. and half european a falsified origin outside of africa yeah, the pilt down man. Definitely pilt down man. Yeah, they tried to they tried to lie their ways into the history book, trying to say they was of a different creation. They took a chimpanzee and a and a and a and a horite caveman Neanderthal and put it together with a modern human. Yeah, we know what they did. Go ahead. They falsified an artifact in order to try to argue that they had the, a, a different origin. origin. Yeah. And um, it was proven by another European scholar over, I mean, I think that this is over 50 years later mm -hmm. that there, there was a lie. And so, yes, the answer is the Pilt Down Man. That's now, the at the same time, they were pull, pulling up artifacts in Africa, right? Yes. Right? Yes. They, wouldn't, they didn't want to talk about it. What they needed to, to uh, create this one because the preponderance, the just the weight of the number of artifacts on the continent of Africa was beginning to give people the sense that, you know what? Mm -hmm. Maybe humanity had their origin on the continent. So they tried to say, well, maybe primitive humans did, but we didn't. Okay, let's see if you know the answer to this one. Similar question. What is the Ethiopian name of the 3.2 million year old fossil that locates Earth. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, I got this shit wrong. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing, what I was thinking of, but I got this shit wrong, family. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't really um I wasn't paying attention to the to the to the question. Um, the answer was just right in front of my head. I don't know why Australopithecus Africanus threw me off. 
Because the question is, what is the Ethiopian name of the 3.2 million year old fossil, um, you know, located early human ancestors in Africa? And um, I'm, I, I, we know it's the Australopithecus Africanus, but that's not a damn Ethiopian name. And we know Sankofa Eve is not a damn Ethiopian name. So, I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. This is one of them things where I wasn't paying attention. Early human ancestors. Hey. Now. It's B Dink Mesh. Mm -hmm. Read the question carefully. What is the B. Ethiopian name? It's, it's, it's B. Mm -hmm. Send Jason was clear. Chad is clear. Shout out I'm to not Chad. Sure the Ethiopian name. Shout out to Chad. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I know that that picture there is Lucy. But you throwing me off with the Os Australopithecus Africanus. Yeah. That's Lucy. <laughs> Here we go. She was known as Dink Nesh. Dink, Dink uh, Nesh. Okay. Dink Nesh. By the way, you should know that the the uh, it is the American and British archaeologists because they were listening to the Beatles song on the radio while they were doing excavations. They heard um, uh, Lucy in the sky with diamonds, and they called her Lucy. But the Ethiopian archaeologists that were there with them never called her Lucy. In fact, you go to see her remains, as I have done in Ethiopia today in the National Museum, it does not say Lucy, it says Dink Nesh. Okay. You know that that's well, I mean, but I, I wouldn't Dink call Nesh. it Homo sapien, right? By the way, it's not the a Homo sapien. Right. The word Dink Nesh means you are marvelous. You are marvelous. I was just about yeah. to ask that. Now they got the, what they got that, that, um, the the what they they found in the cave they found like fifteen specimens. Mm. Uh, uh, homo in Nadali. South Nandi Homo Homo Nandi Nadali Nadali Nadi some like yeah in South Africa in South Africa I think that's I Homo think, Nadali right right I yeah. think that we are what is that I think we have two more questions left two more two more yeah. Sonetta put this one up please for me. Take a look at this one. What is the name of the world's first recorded dentist? Uh, Hersey Ra. Hey. Bam. Y'all heard me? Ooh. Made a comeback. What? 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 Ooh. Nice. What is the name of the world's first recorded dentist? I got that shit right, y'all. Hey. Ra. Hey. <laughs> All day. And he's got an afro, right? And yep. one of those, uh, yeah, that ain't no afro. I mean, in one of them, though, right? That, his head look like mine's, man. You have to know. Um, yeah, watch this shit. Apostle. Sometimes Flat on top. Long in the back. Sometimes the first images are there to throw you off. Oh, it's coming. What'd you say now? So I to show you the afro. That's what's coming up. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. A lot of folks in the chat have A and B. A all day. You heard this question yes. from me before. Because huh? you had better know. Well, process elimination. We know it's not Amin Hotel. You know it's not Daniel Hill. How you know that? Huh? You this know? dude. <laughs> this dude ain't no the first picture might be there to throw you off apostle uh, nah man nah it, 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 it has to be A man but that fro I was Answer telling y'all A Hesse yeah. Ra man that's Hesse Ra right there look at that fro I knew that I knew that straight up look at that fro African 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 and I want you to look at this image which yeah, he got a shag, bro. A door from his tomb in the Egyptian museum, currently in the Egyptian museum. That's that is how this. That, that's a classic shag afro. Look at his afro. They yeah. even depicted the little circles for the afro. Right. That's that's how I used to wear my hair in the seventies. Is the world the world's first recorded dentist, Hesse Ra? S. E. Ron. He was also a scribe. Do you notice that he has writing implements over his shoulder? Hey, Chad, I'm catching up, dog. <laughs> you a scholar, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Chad. Let me see. Let's, let, I'm going to try to give you another one that's hard. Let's see if we can find another one that might stump all of y'all. 
Let's man, see. I like All this, right, man. This is good, man. You need to keep doing this, Jabari, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that what we should do is we need to get to the point where we are discussing history. We are making, a, we, we are studying the history. I like to do this because it's not just history from one area of the world, right? It's from several areas of the world. Now, this one, folks who took my class might know. Man, I, I really don't know which one should be the last one. Because there's a bunch I want to give you. Man, okay. We're gonna we're gonna go with this ain't easy, y'all. <laughs> this is not easy. Yeah, a lot of those was hard. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna front. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's not easy for me to figure out oh, which, which one to show. <laughs> one to show. That's what I'm saying. Okay, let's look at this. Let's let's try this one. I might have showed this one on Sonnetta before, actually. But you know, half the time my students don't even remember these questions. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, Sonnetta, put this one up. Sonnetta, you there? Put this one up. Here we go. Who is the first recorded African American to vote in the United States? Oh, I know this one. Uh, Masai. D. It's 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 B. Hiram Rebels. I'm gonna follow, yeah, I'm gonna follow the brother and go with B. I'm gonna follow the brother then, but I was gonna use I'm follow D. the rest of my brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Say B. Anybody else? How about let's see what's going on in the chat. I see. I see a C. Miss Retro has a C there. Important conversations with Dulcinea has a B. JJ has B. I don't think that's JJ seven thousand, but a JJ. Uh, important conversations with Dulcinea is like or D. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Nadja Chinieri says C. Ooh, looks like it's all over. Y'all not sure. Maybe this is a good Yeah, one. they said which con was a congressman. Who? They said uh, Harold Revels was a congressman. Do you agree? I'm saying... I don't know. I'm just saying that's what the chat said. He was a congressman. I don't know. What? You're not sure? You want to see? I, I thought the answer was B, but I originally picked, I originally picked D. It's going to so, be C. I'm going with the family in the chat. Because, I'm gonna go with D. Even if he was a congressman, it doesn't mean that he's not um that he's not the first person to vote. I'm, I'm I'm changing to C. I think it's gonna be C I'm now. Gonna, I think I'm, gonna roll with C. Uh, I'm going with D. Yo, okay, yo, we didn't know this shit, yo. <laughs> let's keep it real. We did not know, family. And um, you you don't know everything, man. That's that's to be honest, you, it's honest to be like you don't know. Um, but this was an excellent question. Who was the first recorded African American to the vote in the United States? I think we all should really know the answer, man. And and um, the fact that we don't know this is is you know I, I was like I didn't think about it until now, man. It's important that we know this person. I feel like it. You know, he's the first recorded African American to vote in the United States. And, I, you know, we were having problems trying to figure out the name. Now, highly level like scholars would know, but, you know, your basic African American, we, you know, we ain't, ain't nobody know. And I know people um, that's watching this now don't know the answer. So um, once we once we learn the answer, once I play this, um, let's remember who this dude is. You know. And what um, things were like before he cast his ballot? Let's look. Let's look. Uh, something yeah. about that last yeah. name. Um, okay. Monday. Patterson. Yeah. Monday. All right. She was All right. right. Hiram Rebels. By the way, where did he vote? Louisiana? Nope. Mm. Delaware. Mississippi. Nope. Philadelphia. 
Delaware, Jersey, New Jersey. New Jersey. Uh, okay, New Jersey. I was close. You see, right. you, see, yeah. you see the um the gold. There's a medallion, a medallion on his his um uh, his vest. Mm -hmm. he received that because he was the first person to vote and did some really important stuff. Just under a month after the passage of the 15th Amendment, Thomas Mundy Peterson voted. He cast his vote in Perth, Amboy, New Jersey on March 31st, 1870. He was born in 1824 in Metuchen, New Jersey. Um, and he was the son of a formerly enslaved woman named Lucy Green, and he worked as a janitor. He's also the first African American to serve on a jury. A jury was one of the first one of seven people appointed to make amendments to the charter's revision that he voted in favor of. And in 1884, Perth Amboy raised the modern equivalent of $1,800 to buy Peterson a gold medallion featuring Abraham Lincoln's profile. This is Thomas Mundy Peterson. It's wonderful that we have a picture of him. Look at the dignity in his face. I love it. By the way, you should know that I'm trying to throw you off with some of these other answers. Hiram Revel Revels was a congressman during Reconstruction. Mm -hmm. That is correct. That is correct. And... Matthias de Souza is possibly the first black elected official before Thomas Monday Peterson, but we have no record of him voting. It is said that he was, um, they called him a mulatto. He's likely of African and Portuguese descent and comes to the United States and votes where? I, I'm know. telling y'all about these Portuguese, man. That, that's my family, man. I don't know if I would be bragging in Portuguese to your family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apostle be tripping, yo. But man, look at my man, man. This is this is awesome. You know, um, I I didn't know this. I can honestly say um I had no knowledge of uh Thomas uh Mundy Peterson, but y'all gonna hear me talk about him on TikTok and y'all gonna hear me talk about him here as well. He was the first recorded African American to vote in the United States. So shout out to Jabari for uh, for sharing that with the family. But I'm going to skip. It gets a little fun. Uh, Apostle took over the damn show. Look. You look up. You look up. Wait, let's not go too far. I agree with you. But the yeah, me just all over the place. <laughs> Somebody needs to mute. Come on. Jabari, Jabari, can you hear me? Oh. And I want you to know that it is a viewer of Sonnetter TV Studios that said that he wanted to support Sonnetter going. Oh, yeah. yeah Sonnetter about to go to Kemet, family. Um, I know he happy as hell about that. Sonnetter about to go to Kemet. Um, you know, so we're going to get some good footage of him over there, man. I think this is good. Um, for the community, man, and for the, uh, you know, for the family, man. So I think he's been wanting to do that for a while. Jabari hooked it up where he can go. I'm going to tell y'all already, I went and it changed my whole shit. You know, Africa's so big. I want to see all of Africa. Shout out, shout out to South Africa. I really want to go there and West Africa. It's too big to see everything in one trip. So you're going to go to one part of Africa. You're like, damn, I wish I went to the other place. But um, me, um, you know, being able to have the opportunity to go to Kemet, man, is is definitely um, a bucket list trip that that if you can have the opportunity to go, I, I, I suggest you try to go. But if you got an opportunity to go to West Africa, I suggest you go too. we got a lot of family um, over there and a lot of our ancestral roots connect directly to West Africa. So um, shout out to Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone and our West African brothers and sisters. But um, Kemet, man, is like no other place. When you see those pyramids and the temple complexes, um, you know, the, the oldest civilizations, and you know, that, that's in Africa, it's just breathtaking. We have to make sure that the people who are telling our story, regardless, some of you are, only have negative things to say about Sonnetter. The reality is history will vindicate him. 
He spent a lot of time trying to teach our people history. Nobody's perfect. Sonnet is not perfect. I'm not. Nobody's perfect. But look at the work he's put in. Look at the body that he's put forward for these people that are the people that are the left behind in this country. There's nobody that has the kind of body of work that this brother had. So for someone to say, I recognize what Son Netter has put together, I think that it's going to advance all the things he does. I want to make sure that he's able to go. We need to. He's asked me not to announce who he is. So I want you to know that um, it is the viewers that are sending Son Netter to, uh, to Kemet. And I'm going to tell you, he's not going to be the same person when he comes back. Nope. He will not. Now, for the rest of you, you can also make donations. So Sonnetter can um, go and eat and laugh and have a great time when he goes. We're going to be in Kemet for 12 days. And I know that there are many of you that don't want to miss this experience. Just as Sonnetter is filming everything, y'all should be filming him, filming everything. So I'm hoping that many of you are going to be coming and joining him on his maiden trip, his first um, uh, uh, sojourn on the continent of Africa, because this is going to be really powerful. And I can't wait. I, Anika already said, I'm going to have to tell Sonetta, Sonetta, it's time to go to sleep. It's time to go to sleep, Sonetta. Because when you get there, you're like, oh my goodness, I, there's so much to look at. Yes, Sonetta, go to sleep. Go to <laughs> Because your, your brain is just moving, moving. I know that that's how my brother is going to be when he gets there. I'm, I'm excited. To yo, that, that. that's facts, man. When I, yo, when I was there, your ass ain't going to want to go to sleep at first. Especially when you see them damn pyramids. Something about seeing that shit for the first time will keep you up at night in wonder and awe. Be able to be one of the conduits to be there with him on this on this amazing journey. It's yeah, I wish I could go to Ghana with you, but um, I can't take that chance, you know. Now, you should know that the same viewer, <laughs> Lupus, listen, you know. listen, the same viewer that said that he would, uh, that he would ensure that Sonnetter was going to Kemet also said, I would love to make sure he goes to Kemet and Ghana. So Ghana is an option for him. The, the Sonnetter, you know that Sonnetter has lupus, right? You know that Sonnetter has lupus. And it is, uh, it's a difficult condition. You know, sometimes when you see him here, he's, he's working every day. He got videos up almost every day of the year. It's not always easy for him to do it, right? It's not always easy for him to do it. So I want you to make sure that our brother stays in good health. Now, I'm going to tell you, going to Ghana doesn't mean your lupus is going to act up. We've taken people with lupus before. So if y'all want to beat up Sonetta for not taking the full trip, please beat him up off, off site. Call your it's brother and not, say... The shot that I'm, I'm afraid of, brother, is that shot, brother, that pill. Brother, that yeah, shit, yeah. You, well, to be clear, when you go to Ghana, this is what he's talking about. When you go to Ghana, you have to have a, um, a, a yellow fever inoculation, and you also have to take malaria pills. You have to do that to go to Ghana. Um, and so Sonetta is concerned about that with regard to his lupus. He won't, he wouldn't be the first person to travel with us with lupus to do it, but he's concerned. So how long will I be in Kemet? For, um, 12 days? It is 12 days. Oh, and then you and Dr. Anika going to... Um... We go straight to Ghana for 10 days. Okay. And the reason why both are amazing... I'll be on my way back. When y'all going to Ghana, I'll right. be coming back. And so Crazy P says, you only have to get yellow fever. You don't have to get malaria pills. Don't listen to Jabari. I want to say, I want you to understand that I have taken hundreds of people to Ghana. And some of them say, don't listen to Jabari. And guess what happens on their trip? They get malaria. I'm telling you this. Yo, fam, 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 fam. If y'all ever think about leaving the country, y'all better get every damn shit you need on that list as far as like that. I mean, I don't care what you think and shit. You better get it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, yo, you get over there and you fuck around and get sick because everybody's on the airplane traveling and shit. You know, I mean, anything can happen. So you just want to be prepared, you know. Um, I know a lot of us are might be against taking certain shit, but you know, if if you really want to go um, 
and 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 you commit yourself to the trip you got to do whatever you got to do to get there and and to be able to get back safely so you know that shit is it's a must you got to take everything you need to take to be able to get over there because when i go on a trip everyone comes back healthy if they listen to me so can you get into ghana without malaria pills sure would you want to go to ghana without malaria pills no no i have you gotta take you gotta take you gotta take it every day or there's one that's a weekly pill that's the one i take and there's one that you take every day Oh, um, and so malaria is is like the 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 flu on steroids. You don't want to do that. I've I've known many people who have gotten malaria. I know Ghanaians that get malaria. It it sucks. You don't want your whole trip to be messed up because you got malaria and you're in the hotel sick with chills and throwing up. It don't make any sense. So I'm telling you that you should get the malaria pill. And how's the um the hospitals out there? Poor, bad, good. <laughs> Well, I'm going to say to you that nothing is like the hospitals in the United States. Right. But we know where to go. If someone was ill, we've taken people to the hospital before in both countries. We, we, we know medical, of, uh, medical folks in both countries. So if, if someone did get sick, we know there's nothing that could happen that hasn't happened that Anika and I have not figured out successfully. You know, Rob Bourne is in the chat. I think Rob Bourne should really go. He went to, um, he 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 spent a lot of money going to the other place over there with the Arabs, man. You know, Morocco or no, no. Um, damn, my wife went there uh, to uh, this month. Mm. Damn. Um, what I'm talking about, Rob Bourne? Rob Bourne, just put it in there. Let us know. You know, yeah. I would. See Rob Bourne on that trip. As much as Rob Bourne and I are bickering, yeah, Rob like, Bourne acting like he loves history. Come on, Rob Bourne, you should be going. But hear this, Rob Bourne, I will Dubai, Dubai. But yeah, he, he, he went to Dubai. Dubai. He went to Dubai. But here, but that's not Africa. But it's close, right? I know. Let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. As much as Rob Bourne and I be bickering on here, you, if you listen, you will hear me say, I don't know as many people that do as much research as Rob Bourne. That's an astute brother. Shout out to Rob right? Bourne. So we can continue to bicker on the things, you know, a lot of times what you see here is the, the small percentage that we don't agree on. You don't see all the other stuff. Sorry, if Rob Bourne was to go to Kimmy, you think he'd come back with an uncle on his chest, tattoo? I think that <laughs> Rob Bourne would be yeah. history. Yo, shout out to Rob Bourne and the whole NBK. For real, for real, man. Though, and true story, definitely. All them cats over there, man. Top scholar, yo. Straight up. And he would still be Rob Warren. He would still be Rob Warren. He wouldn't. Right, he right. Have to I think he'd get a tattoo on his yeah. arm or his he neck. He wouldn't have to practice spirituality to to be to to uh, be a never. He, he might come back chatting like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something that is always be trying to start trouble, right? In hell. Yeah. He trying to start trouble. I did not say that, Rob Warren. You and I gonna bicker over something else, not that. That's your brother <laughs> making those jokes. <laughs> yeah, I think he'd come back with so, that, man. You know, let me say, and most of what we do when we there is history. I mean, I'm, I'm a historian. That's what I do when I go. You know, I'm not there to to. Most people who go on my trips are not are not are not um comedic. Most people who go on my trips are are Christian, and so you know that that's just what you need to know. We're there for for the history, and um, it's really important for you to hear it. You know, I had an opportunity, Jabari, to go and it changed me, man. Like, I want to see all of Africa. Africa is one of the places where you want to see. Where you Africa. went, brother? Where you went? I went to Kemet and it was oh, just, wow. man, it was awesome. So, Listen, how long you stayed? How long? Um, about uh, two weeks. Saw the tip, the scroll, the Nile. We was on the Nile. Yeah. All that. Um, saw man. the Bible symbol. Yeah. Pyramids. I mean, it just blew my mind. When I first saw the pyramids, I was just like, when you first see the miracle to the pyramids, mm -hmm. it's almost like you have to hit yourself because it's yeah. like, I don't yeah. know if I'm really understanding what I'm looking at. I feel like I'm looking at a picture, yeah. right? It hits you different. So it really is an amazing experience. And the thing that's going to happen on this trip with Sonetta, he was asking me just today, why you got to go to all those places? I don't understand. And I said, brother, <laughs> yeah. I came to the United yeah. States. And you said, I've been, I've, I've been to the United States. And they said, where'd you go? Detroit. Be like, okay, so you went to Detroit. You didn't see nothing else. You didn't see nothing else. I didn't say that, bro. 
No, I'm the one that said Detroit. Oh, oh, oh. He said, why do we have to keep traveling when we get there? No, no, you said we're going to go to Cairo. Yes. Cairo. And I said, do you got to take a plane to Cairo too? And you said, yeah. And I'm like, Cairo. damn, how far is Cairo, bro? We <laughs> landed in Cairo. Cairo was the first city we come into. And then we spend some time in Cairo. Then we get on, um, how do we do this? Did you do the train? We actually, we don't do the train anymore, y'all. The train is rough. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yeah, that train got me messed up. <laughs> that fucking train. I took Sameta on that train. Yeah, just don't do the train, Sam. So don't get that train on me. What's up with the train? Oh. The train, is, the train, like, the train is, is the way that people travel. It's yeah. kind of rugged. The train like 50 years old, man. It's, it's really rugged. I, it's not that I, I, I mean, I, yeah, now listen. I suggest if you're going to go several times that you do it just once because being on an overnight train is an experience. But the train about broke down when I was on that shit. Damn. Yes, it's broke down several times. Yo, fam, that fucking train. <laughs> that train. Look at, I don't know if I got the video on my TikTok and shit. But yeah, that, that, that train, 50 years old, family. And, you know, it's it's a way to communicate, um, to, um, what do you call it, travel and shit like that, you know? But man, I don't know, man. That train, I don't know, fam. I don't know. I don't know. I, I stopped smoking like uh shit, I stopped smoking cigarettes maybe years ago, man. I got on the train, everybody was smoking on the train. Train broke down. I thought the train was gonna get hijacked. It was just a little weird being on it, yo. It was just a small group of Americans on it. I felt safe and everything, but it's just it was just it ain't Amtrak. <laughs> it ain't it ain't luxury, yo. Um but you know it's a different country and shit like that. So, um, but uh, if there was another way to do it, I think you can fly to, um, or the or the river cruise. Um, you can do that too. But yeah, that train is vicious. Sometimes when we're on, I thought somebody was about. One time I was on the train. I hear this. I'm sick because I used to get sick every year. Right? I'm sick. I'm sitting there sick. The train pull into a station and is sitting there for a while. And I see one of the guys that works on the train. He goes off of the train and there's a pipe that's broken in the concrete of the of the platform. <laughs> it's in the ground and it's spurting a little bit of water. He takes he's one of the jugs and he's filling it from the, the spout that's on the floor. Wow. And when I see him, guess what he does? He doesn't hide. He does this. He's like, wait <laughs> That's how we roll. <laughs> you mean to tell me, Jabari, they ain't used that comedic science over there to make a proper train, man? <laughs> you mean to tell me? Hold on, man. Hold on, Jabari. Nope. This is deep. This is deep, man. They didn't use none of the comedic science on the train, Rob Bourne. You're right. They sure did. <laughs> <Rocky with Japan. laughs> Damn. Damn. That train is rugged. Yeah, that train. Oh, we don't do the train away. anymore. Now we actually take a cruise. We take a cruise down the hop -y. Down the notch. Much better, much better. Now, cruise, the cruise is a must do. I recommend the cruise over the train any motherfucking time. Straight up. Yeah, it's 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 relaxing. You know, it's amazing. So Sonnet is gonna have a really amazing experience. You know, he's gonna be saying, Look at what the video I got, Jabari. He's gonna say that all the time, the whole trip. You're gonna run out of memory space. Yeah, he's got he's gotta have a lot. So listen. Those of you who want to be able to see this trip, come with him, make donations to him so he has all the equipment he needs. You know, he's going to need a bunch of cards, a bunch, lot of stuff to be able to really bring this information back. He's your, he is your comedic correspondent for this yeah, that's, trip. That's dope. I got to do a back migration before I do that one, though, Jabari. What do you mean a back, a back migration? What do you mean? Back to... Yeah, like I got to go to the South. I've, oh. been, I've been, I ain't never seen the plantation before. I kind of don't yeah. really see that, but I got to do that first. Mm -hmm. And then I, I, I got to go to West Africa first. And then I'll go. Yeah. Over I got to I got to go. I got to, I got to do it back. Yo, Rob Bond, when you get over there, all you got to do is walk into the time machine and your ass going to get caught right up in it. <laughs> Fighting the white people. Can, can I share something with y'all, man? It'll help, Rob. Look at Apostle. He want to share slides and shit. 
are born since he's never been to the plantation. I've taken my whole family. You to, don't have to get up to the mic, um, Apostle. You're sitting too loud. I've yeah. taken my whole family to the <clears throat> plantation that my mother's father people came over. Can, can I can I say that? Um, I'm not just talking about the ones that my family came on. We go to them. You know, I, I know that y'all think that all I do is kill me. <laughs> I know you think that. But we've been taking people to see plantations all over. Um, we've been to plantations in Virginia. We've been to plantations in other parts of the country because I, it's all the history that we need to know, right? I'm not saying that you should know Kevin and not know about the history of enslaved people. That was Let me share my screen, sir, if just you, for a minute. If you heard me say that, I would be a fool. Um, and so it's really important for you to understand that I am saying that we need to know, really have a comprehensive picture of what we... What I hope I can find it. Both, both yeah. what we've done... Also just talking over Jabari and shit. But yeah, let me... Um, let me shut this down. Shut this down. Shut this down. But yeah, fam. Um, that was it. I just wanted to share that uh for the family um that was a good little little um quiz shout out to jabari for um doing that i learned some things uh new um definitely and um got some refreshes on on some other things but yeah family um go ahead and check that out shout out to um sonetta for letting me um get on there and uh all that but that was a good little um good little quiz on African uh, history and stuff like that. African American history, African history uh, in general. But yeah, fam, I'm going to leave it on that. Um, that's it. I'm going to close out. Um, I wanted to just show y'all that uh, video just a little bit. Um, I'm hanging on uh, YouTube a little bit more than I, I am on TikTok these days. They be taking my damn account and be uh, banana and bananaing my, 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 our account, you know, it's just crazy. So I'll be over here chilling, you know, pretty much. All right, fam. I appreciate y'all. We're going to close out with, um, you know, a little bit of theme music because that's how we do over here, family. Peace, family. motherfuckers. I'm going to tell you something straight off the motherfucking press. I ain't coming for no foolishness.